All right, today we're going to show you how to fix an EasyGo PowerWise charger. And uh, first things first is uh, if you're watching this video, your charger's probably broken. So um, I'm going to show you here how to open it up and some common problems with it. And we'll kind of go through it as we go. So first things first, let's get this thing open. So you'll notice on the side of your charger, you're supposed to have a screw here, but if you get chargers in condition like we do, you'll notice that uh, uh, half the screws are usually missing. So keep what you can where you can. Of course, there's always a screw on the top for the handle. That's always a good place to start. You can use a power drill for the outsides. Would not use a power drill for the inside though. I'd also go ahead and get handy a pair of uh, needle nose pliers. You know, whatever size, this is obviously small and old, but you get whatever size you want. So let's go ahead and take this front or this top bolt off here. And then the handle also has one here on the rear. And as you can see, there's always two on the back. And then we're actually not missing the one here on this side, so we'll go ahead and get that one. All right, now first things first, your handle just pulls off real easy. Just rotate it forward and pull it off. It's going to be your case that's always going to be a little bit tougher than it should be. Uh, what I like to do with them is I actually like to stick a, a pair of pliers like I have here in my hand or a screwdriver and kind of just pry it down. Um, that way you're not jerking, messing up your case. And after that it will just pull right off. So you can go ahead and set that to the side. And if you notice you look in here. I'll give you a little better view here, but look in here, it's a lot of components, so it kind of looks intimidating and scary, but it's really not. So, you got a couple items here. First things first, you can see here, if, you, if you're looking close enough, you can see here where there's actually two different resistors. So what had happened here is this is a common problem, number one. This isn't the most popular problem, but it does happen. These two resistors here will actually uh, go bad and they'll allow power in both directions. If you know how to do a continuity test, you just un unscrew this screw and you only need to unscrew one of them and you can actually do a continuity test uh, throughout to see if the uh, power is going in both dire directions or not. On top of that, you also have a fuse here. These things can be deceiving because obviously it's just a thin piece of metal going through a large black uh, plastic container there. It can be burned on the inside. It's rare that that happens. You can usually notice it very easily. One of the ends is just completely severed, but I have had that happen quite often. Third and probably your most common problem is going to be this little baby here. Now there's two different versions of this PowerWise charger. With this PowerWise charger you see here there's only one board with one relay. On the older versions, there's actually a second board that sets in here, and this one has been replaced at some point. Uh, you can see this bypass wire going back through there. We can show you how to do that, or I'll probably do another video to show you how to replace that board. I'm just kind of going over some general aspects right now. But this is still the most common problem on both of those chargers. Now, with the board, it's not actually usually the board itself, but the relay. But the relay sets on the board and there's no way to get around that. Now you have two options, or let me just give you the most common issue that would point to this. When you plug your car, your cart, into your charger, you should actually be able to hear a click after about 5 to 10 seconds. If you don't hear that click, then that means that this relay is not connecting. If that relay or this board is messed up, it will not click. Um, if it doesn't click, it's obviously not going to start charging. One way to test to see if this will actually is the board and relay and not anything else on the charger is actually take your needle nose pliers and pull off these two connectors here. Now first off, don't do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. Um, I always like to take a cell phone picture or draw myself a little small diagram before I pull any wires off because 
you are still doing, dealing with a lot of voltage and you are still dealing with a heck of a shock. But anyways, you can take these two wires here and with either test leads, uh, which I've had people use in the past, or I built myself a little tool which just connected the ends. And uh, really what you're trying to do here is bypass the board. This is not a long-term solution. Long-term, you will burn your board out. Uh, but in the short term, you can actually take these two wires um, and again, use test leads or vice versa, using uh, creating yourself a little wire that'll plug into the ends. Um, and you can actually bypass it for a short period of time. And to test that, you're just gonna bypass it, bring it out to your cart, plug it into the wall, plug it into your cart, and if it was the board or the relay was the problem, it'll turn right on and uh, you'll know, you'll know from there. Now to order these boards, an actual replacement form, the OEM number is 28667-G01. And again, if you have the model like this, this board is obviously will be replaced. But if you also have the model with the board here and the board here, this board, the 28667-G01, will replace both of them. So uh, no reason to have two things that does the same thing. So go ahead and take that out and replace it. Uh, if that seems to be your issue. So, anyways, if it's a resistor, um, you'll get a click, but it still won't charge. And then uh, this is your transformer, which of course is not something that you want to have bad. If this goes bad, which uh, I would send it in to uh, your your shop or, or valleycarts.com before I just threw it away. But.